Hey guys, it's Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Minnum Carnage Alpha Issue 1, which is a one shot. Um, this starts the big crossover with Scarlet Spider and Venom and Carnage. Um, and I think this is a two month uh, crossover, which I actually only thought it was this month, but we get to see this in Scarlet Spider, Venom. Then we're going to see in Scarlet Spider and Venom again, and then we have another one shot called Omega instead of Alpha. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool, at least we get two months of this cool crossover that I've actually been really looking forward to. Um, but before I start this review for, um, Minnum Carnage, I just want to say that I have two reviews on Dark Avenger Inc., um, Earth 2 and Smallville Season 11, which I usually do on Comic Uno, um, but I didn't want to um, bombard you guys with reviews, so I put um, some on Dark Avenger Inc. So, if you want to check out those reviews, the link to Dark Avenger Inc. is in the description below, so go check out those reviews. And if every uh, week, if I just have a lot of comic books, and I just feel like I just don't want to put them all on my channel, then I'll just mention in the beginning of the video which ones are on Dark Avenger Inc. Uh, but let's start this review for Minimum Carnage. Um, so the first half of this, uh, well, let's talk about the cover, actually. I uh, love this cover. It's great. Love the kind of, all right, here's, oh, well, here's Scarlet Spider. Here's Venom. Here's Carnage. Let's see what happens. And the art is great. So, uh, definitely, I was actually looking forward to this because I am a big Scarlet Spider fan. I've been loving the series. And Venom, I read issue one, but I didn't really continue it. I was like, oh, I don't love it. But, you know, I think Flash becoming Venom is very interesting. And, you know, maybe one day we'll pick it up and trade. Uh, but now I have a chance to read Venom and Scarlet Spider, because I've been reading Scarlet Spider, but, um, to see them cross over is very interesting, because they're both in the Spider-Man universe, um, well, you know, related to Spider-Man somehow, and, um, I think that's very interesting, and, um, just see how they kind of react to each other, because they have two different personalities, and just bring Carnage in that, that's a pretty good, uh, story. Uh, but let's see what happened in this story, and see if I enjoyed it. So, in this first half, we get to see Venom, he finds out, alright, um, uh, Cletus Cassidy, who is, uh, Carnage, who's the host of Carnage, um, escapes jail. So, he's trying to figure out, alright, so how do you escape jail? Alright, well, there's this Carnage, I'm like, he's like, alright, who's Carnage, let's figure this all out. So, he's figuring out exactly who Carnage is, because he doesn't really know who Carnage is. Um, so that's Venom's half. This is Scarlet Spider's half. He knows who Carnage is. So right when he sees Carnage, he's like, alright, this is Carnage. I need to defeat him. And, um, that's what we could see in Scarlet Spider's, uh, side of the story. Because we do get two sides. It is split pretty differently. Because I think Yost writes one and Bun writes the other. Bun writes, um, uh, Venom. And then Yost, who is the regular writer for Scarlet Spider, um, writes Scarlet Spider's side. And then we get a pretty cool cliffhanger, which is not, you know... Uh, you know, that's surprising, so I will spoil it. Uh, Venom meets up with Scarlet Spider, which is awesome. That's what I've been really waiting for, and I can't wait to see that um, continue in Scarlet Spider, which I think comes out next week. So, yeah, I'll be picking that up, definitely. And um, I'm very excited to see how they confront each other, because right now Venom's thinking that Scarlet Spider is Carnage. So, like I said, Venom doesn't really know who Carnage is, but Scarlet Spider has seen Carnage. So, um... It's kind of, I'm interested to see how they uh, react to each other. Uh, so this issue was, uh, it was okay. Um, the reason I say that, because I feel like this is more of an introduction issue, which it has to be. Uh, if you know stuff about Venom, and if you don't stuff about Scarlet Spider, it could be a little boring, because I, I know Scarlet Spider's character. I've been reading the series, so they kind of just explain who he is. And then with Venom, I read the first issue of Venom. I know who Venom is. I know who Flash Thompson is. I I'm a big fan of Spider-Man. I know who his character is. So, um, for people that don't know these characters, this is a great issue. Um, but for me, it was a little boring because I did know these characters. Um, but it's interesting to see how Carnage kind of affects both these characters in this issue. Um, so, was this an amazing issue? No. Was it a solid issue? Maybe a little less than a solid issue? I'm going to give this a three and a half. Um, I thought this was an okay issue, um, a good beginning, and I just think it's a startup. It's not saying that, oh, this is a bad issue, oh my god, uh, you know, disappointment. No, I mean, I understand why they did it. It's just an introduction. I just think for a fan who, uh, no Scarlet Spider, no Venom, and no Carnage, 
you know, it just wasn't amazing. I, I understand that. I think, I still think this story arc is going to be good. And, and I don't think that because of this first issue not being amazing, it's going to be a bad story arc. Not at all. And, you know, with some first issues, you're like, all right, this is going to be horrible. But with this, it's like, it's not even like it has potential. It's just, you know it's going to be good. It's just that they have to start somewhere, you know? And for a regular avid reader of Spider-Man and, you know, Spider-Family, you know what's going on. And that's pretty much what you got to know. So if you're a big Spider-Man fan, you don't have to pick this up. But you're probably going to want to pick this up anyways. But um, for me, I say pick this up. I thought it was a pretty good issue. And especially for people who don't know these characters. This is a great, you know, way to see. Maybe I like Venom. Maybe I like Scarlet Spider. Maybe I like Carnage. Um, and that's a perfect way with this um, with this issue. And the art is good. You know, we have the same art that we usually get with these series. On um, one side for the Venom side, it's the Venom art. And then with the other side, it's Scarlet Spider art. Which I enjoyed. Because that's the art, what we're going to be seeing with, you know, Venom and uh, Scarlet Spider. We get to see examples of both. Uh, so... I like this one shot. It is four dollars. I think that's worth it. And um, I guess three and a half. I liked it, and um, I thought it was good. And hope you guys enjoyed. I say pick this issue up. If this was Comic Uno, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the rant situations. Get news about my videos. And hope you guys enjoyed. Bye, guys.